Guys, do you know what I'm starting to realize? Elf Pride did so well, and I'm like, Romcom doing well on my channel. Before, it used to do well, like the Angel Next Door, but then I'm like thinking, why is this doing so well compared to the other Romcoms I've built? And then I realized it's because this is a native Isekai Romcom. Hear me out. Romcom in an in an Isekai world without Isekai other worlders? This is why it's doing so well. Instead of having a rom-com bound to a high school environment in Japan, you have it in a fantasy native isekai world. And then now you can do like demon lord shit. People can fight how high our fantasy, but focus on the rom-com. It's fucking genius. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it too. Let's begin today's reaction. Zagan? <laughs> Okay, look at that sign. Okay, it's like, all right, it's not really a, you know, the, the I'm not gonna say because I'm gonna get banned, but it's a little bit longer. And got cursed? Bound? What happened in the past? Six hours. <laughs> she gets away with it because she's so goddamn cute, but could you imagine someone just like, just watching your face while you sleep? <laughs> The quieter they are, the more devastatingly scary they are when they are angry. True. True. That's what it looks like before. She baked the bread. Homemade bread? Oh my god. No more moldy bread? That's actually like making them bread from scratch? They should put a lot of... It's like a dog's tail. The elves ear twitch. I didn't. We've watched so many isekai and fa native isekai. I didn't realize that elf ears twitching was when they're really happy. That's never happened before. But okay, we're learning. Skill issue. <laughs> See right here, right over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cool. Feed her while she's sitting. Yes, yes. Say ah. Uh... This is too good. It's too pure. It's not like I want to do this again or something. Feed each other. Well, you did this kind of last time with the tomatoes. Because she's sitting on your lap. It's warm. You can feel the, the heat, the body heat emanating from her buttocks, spreading throughout his thighs and perhaps to his... <laughs> this is too lewd. You gotta, you gotta fucking censor that, man. Elves have separate magic. But she can't use it. That was mentioned before too. So she has deep mana pool. So Zagan will probably teach her how to use magic and she'll probably be super cracked, right? Yo! That's the sign again! From the intro scene! The guy, you know, pretty much like branded us with it. Speaking, symbols like this contain certain powers. He branded us with this symbol? There's a debate. Language of the gods or the emblem of a pack with demons. No one really knows what it is, but it's like the source of mm, sorcery? Okay. Lightning? Does it create lightning? Because it's just L's? He does kind of use spam lightning magic, but you know, it's like an L and the other side's also an L. And if there's multiple layers of magical circles, bro, like Megumi, Konosuba. How strong is she? Okay, okay, okay. This is important magic, important mechanic, okay. Which necessitates a restriction that only lets the original caster use it. You casted... Well, the circle's there first, but then he cast a magic, right? Because people can steal it? They could hijack it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's what those circles were. 
Is it possible to add something inside of it? No, because it's like the center of the universe. Okay. But it's so small. How could you make a circle that small? Make the big circle outside. The bow sorcery would rather not activate or run a month. But you know if Onisama was here from Mahoka, bro, it would just work. Nephi has potential. Okay. So you got magic circles and you it's a source of magic, you know, lightning. And then if you cast it once, it's yours. But you can hijack it if your control of mana is so fucking good you can make another circle within it and override it. Okay, this sounds pretty important for later. Is that Nephi? I don't know, they're kinda hyping up Nephi's potential of mana. She's also a cursed child. Is she a cursed child because she can't use sorcery? Cause that was to be mentioned before, right? Cause her family. They were like not letting her eat at the main dinner table. She's a cursed child. So, hmm. Tricks and traps. But no one can just hijack it. Wow, you talked to me for so long today. Hmm. What are you trying to do? You just got super powerful. True, because like he was like like an, like an orphan almost, right? He was like starving, he has to eat moldy bread, so it's just all been, you know, it's just surviving. And now he's 18, so he's probably never put like deep thought into it, he just became cracked. Oh my god, could you imagine this class of elite, bro? Oh, L, L, you, you, serve, you stole apples to survive as a child? Oh my, I cannot believe you did that, you're a fucking criminal. <laughs> That's the guy we sound interesting. Yeah, immortality would be ideal. Imagine how long do elves live for? So like maybe his pursuit of immortality that stemmed from this in the beginning will now change because elves outlive humans and he wants to be with her forever. So it's like is that how we're developing, right? Nah, this is funny that Farron has become an elf, huh? Oh shit! It's the uh, royal people, the, the temple, the church center. Oh. Are they, so they're gonna survive, they're not gonna die. So the person responsible for the kidnappings is lurking in a place like this. No! The, the, the literal Pope was like, yeah, he actually has, Zagan has nothing to do with the kidnappings, but fuck him, so go. That's literally what he said. <laughs> Arc demon entrance. <laughs> One of the 12 blades that has slain the Lord of Fiends. So she's getting carried by the fucking weapon. The church's ultimate weapon. My bad, we did meet her. I keep forgetting. What would he have done? If I'd known she was an angel, angelic knight, I wouldn't have let her go. What would you have done to an angelic knight? Would he, would he have just let the, the kidnapping face guy just do his thing? Would he have? <laughs> he has bullshit weapons and shields, bro! You literally showed up to a place. 4v1. Trying to start shit, cut our fucking barrier, made us come out, and you're saying unprovoked? 
Okay, the three Cerulean Knights. Ooh, they got a cool title. The simple reinforcement power on his fist. Call an ambulance! But not for me! I thought he was gonna kiss lightning there. Bro literally broke the sword with two fingers. Two fingers. バカな。<笑><笑> いや、敷地の中で死体なんか出す。やはり。お、まずい。人質を殺す気がないのを見抜かれた。魔術師座が音を罰する。シュー、シュー。これ超オープンワペン、it's not fair. <笑> Huh? I thought my assumption in the beginning was like because his friend Barbatos or whatever in episode one, there was this claim that like sorcery, sorcerers are willing to do whatever it takes for pursuing power, right? So that's why sorcery is so bad because, you know, people probably do turn pretty evil. I mean, there's this whole system called the 13 Archidemons who are all fucking sorcerers, right? So I'm sure there are some shitty sorcerers, but Zagan has been too busy just trying to survive and become strong, right? I'm sure there are shitty sorcerers though. <laughs> So let's think about it. Why would the church hate the sorcerers? There's probably some good, you know, points to be made. Some sorcerers are bad, but Zagan said just now, some people do need to rely on sorcery to survive. So I think that the church is gaslighting people saying sorcerers are all fucking demons. They're all fucking bad. But look at us, we have the holy powers, right? You need us. You don't need a demon's shirt. Let us rescue. So they want control over everything. I think that's what it is. Exactly. Church might want a monopoly on sorcery or whatever power they have. I think this makes sense. <laughs> oh, damn. Yo, his hands. It's like smoking. What? The sword started glowing. Oh, shit. Okay, the sword's glowing now. Yeah. Our hand, right? It was like smoking. Grab the hilt! Easy! <laughs> Plot twist! Red haired girl, why would someone like you wield sorcery? So that question was because you seem too nice of a person, and I think there's something up with the church. So let's go ahead and play like you were killed, and then let's give. It's like a double agent right now. This is gonna be good. Yeah. Nah, I don't know about that part, but I do agree with lying and then getting back at the church. She's a good person. Okay, angelic knights are betting a sorcerer. There's like three councils, so. Maybe the main guy is the guy we talked to, but there's basically like these like five exec councils in the church. Oh, Nafi! No! But it's okay, it's okay! Because this shows that we care way much about her. This will be a Rizma winning coming, it's all set up. Poisoned? Poison? Something else is coming? Our friend, Barbatos? It's Nuffy! So, if she gets angry, she's about to unleash all her fucking mana, her power, the latent potential that's been hidden. You can't do this in a fucking snafu! You can't do this in a fucking regular high school, you know, rom-com show! Vines! Tree vines? Earthly magic? No, kill Nuffy! Kill Nuffy! Nephi's 
Bro. The, the, uh, the first Hokage? Hashirama? Versus Nephi. I think Nephi <laughs> ま、聞こんでしまった。すまない。なんか。最後まで申し訳なさそうにしていたな。お前は魔術を使えないのではなかった。え、え、か、トリガー、バトンエンガー。魔術ではありません。あ、いいか。お前がどんな力を持っていよう
It's like victim bl it, 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 Imagine telling someone that got R worded like it's your fault that you're fucking weak. Get good skill issue. I I understand why she would get mad here. They're kids, I know, so it's like maybe he's not mat mentally mature enough to you know under realize that maybe you shouldn't victim blame you know the girl that you just saved. <laughs> Just get strong! Because But hard times make strong men. Yeah, you were in an empty fucking mansion, alone. But now you got Nephi? Oh. I yeah, the bread? The homemade bread? <laughs> Tears of happiness! Oh! Oh, dude, my heart! The diabetes! Oh! Oh, the sugar shot! Oh! And that's the episode. Damn! Today's episode was good. All three episodes have been so good. What did we figure out today? We learned a little bit more about magic. We learned more about Nephi's mannerisms. If her ears are twitching, if an elf's ears are twitching, I mean, she might be kind of happy and excited. Just like a dog wagging their tail. Little lap chair, eating bread, feeding bread to each other. So good. We learned more about like the magic thing. How about how there's like a origin symbol and like in order to override that, because once you cast a spell on a magic circle, that's yours. No one can steal it, but someone can steal it. If you're good enough with the flow of mana and you make your own circle within. Now, Nephi was using mysticism, which is different from this kind of magic, but they have hinted at her immense mana potential. So maybe she's gonna learn something like that. Who really knows? These people from the church, the Cerulean Knights, they fucking suck. But, but, the red hair girl, she's actually pretty good. Like, I thought that she'd be just like a mindless pawn of the church, but she's like, hey, what about we fake her death? So like, I go my own way, you go your own way. And I'm like, oh, you're cooking. You're fucking cooking right now. I think she realized that maybe the church elites are something more than meets the eye. And the people like us that use sorcery, maybe we're not so evil because at the end of the day, the church is gaslighting because they want to monopolize the power, right? They're scared of the sorcerers and they want to monopolize the power. Nephi's backstory, so sad, so sad. She's the cursed child because she has white hair and she can use mysticism. So everyone was like, fuck you, fuck you. But then when they're in trouble, hey, we let you live. You should fucking protect us. And then Nephi broke and she started to just laugh at them. Maybe she didn't laugh at the spot. I kind of want to, you know, imagine a moment where everyone else is getting killed and Nephi just like mind broke and just laughing because that makes sense to me. <laughs> but I think it's totally deserved. Fuck around and find out. You treat us like shit. Why would we give a shit about you? You get what you fucking deserve. And right now, Nephi's getting what she deserves. Love from Zagan. The acoustic riz just keeps on giving, man. And this anime is so good. I'm telling you, man. The beauty of not just rom-com, but made of isekai rom-com. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.